Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 216 of the Decades Challenge. So I spent some time, a lot of time actually, trying to figure out how I could remedy the issue I was having with the game. Oh, our mailbox is under the ocean. That is not what I wanted. Um, so I was trying to remedy the whole issue of this lot being considered um, something other than a residential lot. It was really messing me up. I wasn't allowed to renovate or build, and it was very frustrating. I finally just ended up uh, re-downloading the house and placing it here and then I was able to, well first I had to move them out, replace the house, change the lot type, move them back in and it all worked out. So we're good now. It is officially a residential lot. It was getting to the point where I thought we were going to have to just live somewhere else but we worked it out. So we're pretty much, we're, we're good to go. Uh, so what is he doing? Why did he looks so rough. Oh, he has a face mask. Okay. I thought it was a band-aid for some reason and that looked kind of rough. Um, also we used to have a ladder here, but we don't anymore. So I'll, I'll put that in later. Uh, geek con has started. That's always fun. These two are just playing chess, being adorable. Um, and what else do we have going on? Not a whole lot. Uh, just making sure the upstairs is all good. It's pretty much the same. I did have to make some changes last time and I can't even remember exactly what those changes are. So I may have to readjust a few things, but so far I think we're doing pretty good. Pickles is demanding some attention. So we're gonna go over here, talk to her, praise her and offer friendship. We're also kind of waiting on Melanie to die because she is quite old. She's an elder. Let's actually see here how old she is. I think we can figure that out. Age elder, days left, 12 including seven bonus days. Okay, so we might, she not might not be dying as soon as I thought. She still has quite a while. I mean, I guess that's good because then um, Sophia still has her mom and Jake as well because they both live with Melanie. So I guess that's good. Uh, I guess, <laughs> well, I guess it's good their mom isn't dying. Um, what else do we want to do? We could do some laundry. There's not a whole lot going on. I think we need to revisit the, um, the store idea because it's been a while since we've actually been there. So let's, let's do that. Oh, maybe not. Okay. For some reason, I thought that we ended up having to sell the business, but we still have it. So that's good. Uh, even if we did sell it, I think I would just buy it back and it wouldn't be an issue. Uh, so we haven't been here in a long time. <laughs> it's actually been, yeah, I mean, I think Emma was a toddler last time, maybe even a baby last time we were here. So yeah, the doors have been closed for a while. I think Ashley just wanted to pursue other things, but we're back now. And I mean, yeah, the store is just kind of like, it's kind of sad and outdated, but I just want to try opening it for a day and see how our sales do. Uh, she also had Tyler's help at the time and now she's on her own. So it might be a bit tough for her to do this. I don't think I'll have her make candles while she's here. Oh, we got to pay our bills. Okay. That's fair. That's a loiterer, Greek customer. See, what's the difference between a loiterer and a customer? I guess you can like answer people's questions. Uh, the retail ad advertising campaign has ended. Okay, well that might not be the worst thing because I don't know how much of this we can manage on our own. Oh, he's going to work. So oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Let's answer questions. Or not. I guess that just caused more, more damage. <laughs> Maybe I should get a photo of her. Yeah, you know what? I'll have her go up to the cash register. Oh, maybe not. Hold on, go back. What, are you, just, what is she doing? Who is she getting mad? Okay, don't do that because if you're arguing with the customers, that is not a good thing. Okay, I want you to walk up right here. They, they never do. They, oh, there we go, okay. I just, all I wanted to get was a photo of her in the store for the thumbnail, but she doesn't look that excited to be here. I don't know if she really wanted to be back at the store. 
Um, and you know what? We don't necessarily have to keep the store. We can always, we can always leave. Uh, we can sell it. We can do something else with it. Uh, if she's not enjoying herself. Doesn't look like anyone's buying anything yet. And see, do I, I we can spend the money on the advertising campaign because we have the money to spend. Yeah, let's go for the long term. Why not? And we could also purchase, uh, or purchase employees. We could also hire employees, uh, which would help. I really wish that you could run retail stores the same way you can run a vet clinic or a restaurant where you hire somebody and then you can actually have them open the store and you don't have to be there. I, I don't know why that's not a thing. Um, what's up, Ashley? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? No, that sounds like a setup and... <laughs> She's married, so no to that. Okay, finally someone is buying something. Good. That's what I wanted to see. Bring out customer. And she's still feeling depressed. Um, a loss in the family. But I'm over it, so I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> because I cannot stand the sadness. It, it's too much for me. This lady is unimpressed, but in that case, I just, I invite her to leave. Okay, let's go ahead and change this. We're going to remove her sadness because I just, I don't agree. <laughs> I get so sick of it. The, the two days, it's just, a, it's a long time. Okay, then we can restock this item. Oh, wait, hold on. We've got a live one. Uh, this person wants to buy something. Okay, come on. You're taking a long time. What are you doing? Ring up this customer. See, I mean, so far, if you're not building or if you're not making candles in the back like she always was, she can pretty much manage the store on her own. We don't get a whole lot of sales in a day. Um... It's when we're trying to do two things at once. So I don't think I need to hire anybody at this point. Again, I don't even know if we're fully back at the store. Uh, we're just kind of experimenting, seeing seeing if it's worth coming back. There is some cleaning to do, though. And see, someone else bought something, but I don't see... Oh, there it is. All right, we'll do a couple more hours and then we'll head out. I don't think it was really worth it, but I just, I feel so lost when it comes to retail. I don't really know how to make things better. Eden, hey sis, are you busy? You want to play some games? No. I don't even really recognize that as her sister. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel right. <laughs> uh, let's have her go to the washroom. And then I think we'll close up because nobody's buying anything. Oh, yikes. Oh, well, we did buy the advertising, but we made 760 in sales. So that's something. And can I switch control to Emma? So yeah, we're going to head back. Um, yeah, I don't, I just don't know if it's worth going back. Unless I was going to like renovate the store or try to grow it even more. I just don't know how to do that. And I feel like I've been getting good advice, but it just, I don't know. It might be more, it might be more effort than it's worth. I think that's kind of how I see it. Um, okay, Emma, you can do your homework. I'm going to sell these school projects because she's not going to do them. Uh, and then she ages up in four days. I'm going to bring Ashley here. Oh, I see Ashley's last name changed. So she now has um, Masaru's last name. I'm gonna have her make some dinner. We're gonna serve um, blackened bass. Oh, she's got her set up at this little desk. You know what, part of me wants to fill up this house with kids because I think it's something Ashley would want. Um, so I am kind of considering adoption possibly. I don't, I don't know what the future is gonna look like. I just feel like Ashley would want to have more kids around. Um, the options we have, we could always get Aiden from Tyler. Maybe he's not a fit parent or something like that. Uh, maybe when Tyler ages up into a teenager, he just wants more, um, 
time with his sister or more of a family so he could always move in or maybe he's too difficult for Tyler to handle and ends up moving in with his aunt that's an option too um, we could also just kill off Melanie and then we could take in uh, Sophia and possibly Jake or we could adopt our own kids I feel like there's there's always some options but we definitely have this space for children and it's something Ashley's always wanted so I'm just trying to think about how I want to go about doing that. And this would also be a fun place for kids to grow up uh, here, like in Sulani. This this lot is just kind of, there's lots to do. We're right on the ocean. There's a skidoo right there. <laughs> we could, we I can just picture kids ripping around on that, having a good time. Um. Okay, Ashley, what do we want her to do? Maybe, I think I put some laundry in so we could take care of that. Tyler, I miss you a lot. No, I'm not going to visit him. I just don't have a ton of respect for Tyler. <laughs> I don't think he's a very good parent. Okay, Emma is going to take a bath and then I'm going to send her to bed. Uh, we're going to put this fish away. Where's Masaru? Uh, he is... Okay, well, he's eating on the toddler bed. I'm not entirely sure why. Where are you going? That's not your bed. No, no. That's not your bed. Um, where is she? She's in the bath. So I don't even know if the toddlers can get into that, or the if Emma can get into this bed, but we're about to find out. Um, I'm going to have these two. Woohoo. I'm not that concerned about her getting pregnant, and if she did, I feel like that would just be a miracle baby, and we'll go with it. But she's had so much trouble with it, I just don't think that's going to happen. So we won't worry about it too much. I think that would be great, though, if that could happen. That would just be a dream come true for her. Also, she is getting older. So I think the, the chances are less likely. All right. So she did get into that bed perfectly fine. So that's good. I This uh, toy box is really close to that bed. So I wasn't sure if that was going to work. Where are you going? Go to sleep. Um, yeah, so I am slightly disappointed to find out that Melanie isn't dying soon. I just, I thought she'd be dying like any minute now and we could take her kids from her. Like that was my plan. 11 plus seven bonus days. By then they will have, they'll be, I think the kids will be almost young adults. So I, we probably shouldn't bank on getting them. I just don't think it's going to happen. Okay, Masaru, it's only 5 a.m., but he desperately needs to have a shower, so he can do that. Uh, Emma is up as well. She can grab some food. Also, I don't know why we have so much money. I thought maybe it's because the game sold everything that was in our household inventory, but it didn't. It's all still there. So I have no idea where all this money came from. It's a bit excessive, but we could always just give it to Emma when she moves out or keep it. It doesn't really matter. Okay, um, have her go to the washroom, take a shower. He's going to go play some chess in the rain. Oh, they both are. Okay, I, I guess. Nobody's forcing them to do that. They're just kind of doing it on their own. What is it? Sad, insecure from average body type. Ashley believes that she doesn't look great. The only way Ashley will learn to accept herself is by learning to love who she is. You can use the mirror, try on outfits, or just feel confident. Okay. Well, that's, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. Let's give herself a pep talk. And what are you doing? You're going to be going to school pretty soon. So just go downstairs. And what's Masaru do? I don't even know. He's just kind of standing around. Uh, think about family member. You know what? I'm going to have her take a pregnancy test just to see. No. Didn't work. Uh, oh, now she's depressed. She's going through this all over again. I mean, it, it had been a long time uh, since she's taken a pregnancy test. She did try the in vitro a few times and it didn't work. So I feel like all those feelings would come back and it would be really depressing. You know, maybe they should just adopt. I think that would probably be the best thing to do. Or like I said, we could take Tyler in. 
Uh, I'm thinking no more than four kids altogether because we do have these two bedrooms here and then um, this bedroom here, which could fit two kids. So I want to be careful about what we choose to do. But I don't know. I think adoption might be kind of interesting. What do we think? I don't know. I, I don't want to... <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of like the way things are going. I don't want to change things too much. I do believe they can actually have a conversation about adoption. Let's figure that out. Um, I think it's under relationship and wellness. No, not that. Adoption. Discuss adopting a child. I feel like Ashley just still wants to be a mother. Ashley asked Masaru whether he would agree to adopting a child. Ashley wants to look at adoption procedures to expand the family. Uh, why not the more the merrier? All right, let's look into it. Oh, so she, he's on board. Um, so she's feeling flirty now. I'm going to have him grab some food, I think. Uh, what, he works at night, I believe. Uh, 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. All right, so like what's... Do we just call and adopt and, and that's it? Uh, Ashley and Masaru have already agreed on this. Their agreement holds until a child has been adopted. Okay. Okay, something to think about. We're getting somewhere. I think... I think that's that's the way to go. I don't know. I keep going back and forth. Because, I mean, she's, she's not going to get pregnant. She's already 18 days away from being an elder. Um, so that's just... It's not likely. Uh... I, I pretty much just taken that off the table. We could always adopt either a toddler or a child. Um, I kind of like the idea of adopting a child. But then again, I also think like maybe she wants the experience of having a baby and a toddler. Um, be, I mean, she did do that already, though. It's not like she was deprived of those experiences. She took care of triplets when they were babies and toddlers. So she's already been through all of that. So maybe she doesn't feel the need to raise a baby because she has already done that. Let's go pay our $8,000 bill. I'm just kind of talking th myself through this, trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. Um, I think I need like just a few more minutes to think about this. I want to make sure that I get it right. <laughs> her, I mean, her story and what she would want. I'm probably overthinking it. Let's play with Pickles. I definitely want to make sure that Pickles is well-loved and doesn't run away. And so far, so good. I think she seems pretty happy. Alright, and like I said, Masaru doesn't have to work until 2 o'clock, so he's got plenty of time. Actually, I'm going to have him go fishing, because um, it's not raining anymore, so that is an option. Uh... Do we have a computer? That would be handy. I feel like I saw one. Oh yeah, it's right here. I'm gonna see. Freelance, no, I don't wanna do that. Um, I feel like Ashley's just stuck right now. Or maybe I am. Browse parenting forums, let's do that. She can kind of do some research and figure out what it is that she wants. And then if we do decide to expand our family, we can Adopt for a thousand dollars. That's uh, that shouldn't be a problem. We seem to have quite a bit of money right now. I think that the child would be the best way to go because we kind of we're already set up for that, or even a toddler because we are set up for that as well. But then we have a toddler, so then we have that to deal with. She's just doing all her research. Uh, okay. I think we're going to go ahead and adopt. Because I think that's something Masaru would want as well. Or I guess we could just browse. We could window shop. Uh, Megan, Isla, Axel, Luca, Skylar. I kind of want to name the kid myself. Shelby. I'm drawn to Shelby. I don't know why. Maybe it's the uh, island living hair. <laughs> that could probably be it. Um, and the name as well, because I am thinking we're in the 2000s. Shelby, 
probably would have been a popular choice. Uh, this one I don't know how to say. I don't think we're going to go with the baby thing. That just seems like a lot of work. Uh, even the toddler, I'm considering Sky. No! <laughs> I didn't mean to click Skylar. Well, I guess we just adopted Skylar. <laughs> that was a total accident. Uh, well, that's funny. I'm like, I'm talking through it and then I just go ahead and select Skylar. I guess it was meant to be. I'm not mad at it, to be honest. I didn't really mean to do it, but that's okay. Um, an accidental adoption just occurred. Maybe Masaru should be, like, at home waiting to meet his future child. This is actually very exciting. I, I, <laughs> I think that I didn't think this through all the way, but now I'm just excited about it. Um, I don't really want to call her Skylar. Or do I? I, I wanted Caitlyn. I don't know why. I just feel like that would have been a popular name choice for the 2000s, but... Or maybe not. I don't know. Skylar is okay. Um, do we just want to keep her name? Yeah, I think we'll just keep it as Skylar. It's, it is, um, it does seem like a name that suits the era. It's not totally out of, out of nowhere. But there we go. We just adopted a child. Who saw that coming? Not me. <laughs> that was really out of nowhere. But, I mean, this actually makes me so happy because Ashley, I mean, yes, she did raise um, Emma to be her own, but Skylar is her, her I don't want to say actual child because she is still adopted, but I don't know, like a decision that she made for herself. That's kind of how I see this. Um, let's pick her up. Even though, I mean, I think she's had a lot of fun raising Emma and I'm glad that she did it. I find it so interesting that when Emma left for school this morning, she was the only child in the household. And now, uh, now suddenly we've got this going on. Also, sorry, Facebook is, is being annoying. Um, so yeah, she, she now has a little cousin waiting for her. Uh, so we're doing some potty training. I think, I mean, this will obviously be her bedroom and eventually she'll share it if we get more. Oh, Pickles is aging up. Oh, she's very pretty. Yeah, big fan. Big fan of pickles. Um, and did she just go out to greet? Oh, she did. That's so cute. Let's play with the laser pointer. Hug her. Get to know. Brush. This is Emma's only friend, so she's going to spend a lot of time with pickles. And I guess she should come meet her new cousin, too. That's also something we should probably do. Okay, so Skylar is uh, on her way to potty training. And I'm gonna stop playing with pickles for now and come meet Skylar. We could hug lovingly. I don't know how she's gonna feel about this. I mean, one, one day she comes home and we've adopted a cat. Then she comes home and we've adopted a child. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> it really is. I don't know why I am so excited about this, but that's really cute. I was hoping to get Ashley in that photo, but I don't think it's going to work out. You know what? She's probably excited about this because, like I said, she doesn't really have any friends and Skylar can be her friend. Yeah, she's just chatting away with her and <laughs> Skylar didn't like her. Oh my god. That poor kid. She just, she can't make a friend to save her life. And I don't, I don't know why. I really don't know what the problem is. Uh, I'm going to have Skylar go play with a toy. Oh, she's not done playing with Pickles. Okay, that's fine. She's uh, building a pretty good relationship with Pickles so far. Okay, um, oh, did she? Oh, no, she's playing. Okay, I'm also going to give Skylar a little bit of a makeover um, later on. And yeah, Masaru was not home until 9 p.m. Excuse me. Oh, that's the lady that died on our um, front step. And I honestly don't really want her here. So she can leave. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. I even removed her um, headstone. I feel like it's in her inventory somewhere. Or maybe I, I don't know where it went, actually. 
because she did die right on this uh, property, but I thought that I had moved the tombstone elsewhere. Maybe it didn't work out and that's why she's uh, haunting us the way she is. All right, so Skylar, I'm going to have her eat some food. Oh, I was going to have her eat food. I had her uh, queued up to grab some of this, and then I put it away before she could even have some. All right, um, we'll have Emma do her homework. Or not. Oh, she's done her homework. Wait, what? How is that possible? Okay, um... We don't have the, oh, that's that was the wrong homework. That was actually his homework. Uh, there we go, Emma can do her homework. Uh, Skylar seems to be doing pretty good. She's just eating um, Lauren. Ashley, your favorite movie is coming on. Oh, that was that customer that we met. How does she know our favorite movie? <laughs> I find that a little bit weird that she seems to know that. We barely even spoke. And then Masaru should be home. And I think I'm going to have them woohoo one more time. Uh, again, not really trying for her to get pregnant, but kind of, I'm more just curious. Because at this point, I find it really weird that a sim could uh, try so hard to get pregnant and just not. Like, there must be something wrong with her. I don't know. Well, not wrong with her, but there's something different about her because it's kind of an interesting situation. So, yeah, I'll have them woohoo. Also, I mean... With most of my sims, I have to have them take birth control, and with her, it doesn't really seem necessary. So these two can just sort of build on their romantic relationship. And I'm going to turn off these lights, because everyone's going to bed. Skylar, we probably should have tucked her in. It's her first night in a new house, but that's okay. Oh, Ashley did come to check on her. That's kind of cute, actually. What are we doing? I'm not even really sure. Let's read her to sleep. And then she can go to bed. Um, Masaru is fast asleep. Looks like uh, Emma is as well. And she has three days until she becomes a teenager. So I would say uh, maybe not the next episode, but the one after that. She will be a teen, um, which is weird to think about. And yeah, I'm thinking that we might take Aiden in because... I can't see Tyler being able to handle a teenager. Maybe Aiden is a handful and he's a lot of work, so he comes to live here. Uh, that could be an option. But I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. And we'll kind of um, explore the dynamic between Skylar and um, Emma as well. Because I think I want them to have a bit of a sibling bond because they are going to be raised together. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.